welcome back. Today we are having our August favorites, and I haven't done favorites all the way since February, which is six months. So that's super long. But let's get into August favorites today. So my first favorite is the Glam Skin Papaya and Grapefruit Moisturizing Gel Mist. And as you can see, it's a gel form. So you just shake it up, and it comes in a spray bottle. So what I really love about this is the scent and it really wakes me up in the morning and although it's gel, it really sprays out very fine like the fine mist and I just spray it onto my face before makeup and use my hands to pat it in and I'm good and if I'm not wrong, this is pretty cheap I think it's below $20, around $15 if I'm not wrong I will leave the link in the description box below so you can check that out Next up, I have my favorite foundation of all time and this is the Revlon Color Stay 24 hour and I have mine in the shade 200 Nude and this is for combination and oily skin uh, Actually, I went around Singapore looking for the one for dry skin but I realized that they do not bring it into Singapore I guess partly because of the weather we have here so they just assume that we need the one for oily skin and I've been trying this out for a few months now I used to have the one without the palm and then they started to introduce this with the palm but I didn't know whether the formula changed so I've been trying it out and I think I am safe to say that it is the same formula and I just love it so much more with the palm now because it's so much faster My next favourite is also for face and this is the Han Skin Bio Origin Royal Ampu BB Cream and look at the packaging, it's rose gold which makes it so pretty and it's very sturdy bottle so it's pretty good to travel with and for the amount that you get, I think the price you pay for it is very worth it and it also comes with SPF 44 plus plus and what I like about this is this gives me a full coverage but it can feel a bit heavy whereas this gives me a more medium coverage and it feels very light on the skin so I really like this about it and what I like about this is also that it gives me like a dewy and fresh finish the shade for this is a little bit too light for my skin so I just make sure that I go over with a powder that's a little bit darker and this one is just a little bit more expensive than my um, Revlon one Next item I have is a setting powder and this is the RCMA No Color Powder Initially, I did like this quite a bit because I felt that it didn't dry out my skin but I felt that it wasn't doing much because it didn't give me coverage and it didn't really blur my pores so I stopped using it for a while and then I came back to it because I realized that it would be good for as a blotting powder like throughout the day if I want to touch up I use this to touch up instead so that my skin would not look dry and cakey and also if let's say I put too much highlight or my skin is just a little bit too dewy after my um, foundation and makeup I just go over this with a, with a very light layer of this and I find that it just helps to mattify and it doesn't make my makeup look cakey Next item I have is my Pore Beauty Mineral Powder and Rich and I got this in my Japan haul and this comes with um, SPF 40 plus plus and I recently have been using this to set my face because I find that this blurs my pores very well other than that it doesn't do much but it doesn't make my skin look cakey I was shopping around for green corrector but I realized that there really isn't a lot in the market then at first I was looking at this one by Catrice which is like a green primer but reviews online said that it would make your face grey so I decided to go for the LA Girl Pro Conceal Green Corrector instead and green corrector simply just helps to neutralize red tones and red parts of my face and I find that this really does work and it doesn't make my face grey so I've been enjoying this a lot I'm starting to use eyeliner again and I've been using the Elifair eyeliner pencil and I got this in Japan from their Japan Daiso and they also sell it in Singapore so you pay like uh, $2 you get this and you get two refills and honestly I'm kind of mixed feelings about this I love it and at the same time I hate it I love it because it's very easy to apply and it does stay on but what I don't like about it is that because my left eye is kind of in fold so it always creates a line over here and this is not smudge proof so it does create a line but how I fix it is I simply just use my finger and rub it out a bit and it's fine so other than it being not as smudge proof as I would like it to be I find that it is super easy to apply and easy to remove so it's just really fast for day-to-day -day makeup 
There are some days when I have to go out for longer periods of time so I will not be using this eyeliner pencil. Instead, I've been opting for this shocking black liner from Katie Dom and this is 24 hour and it promises you smudge proof and waterproof and this is really amazing. When I apply it on my left eye, it instantly dries which in a way is good or bad because you can make if you make mistakes with this it's going to be difficult to rub off but other than that I find that it really stays on the whole day and what's amazing about this is that it's not difficult to remove with a makeup wipe it comes it comes <laughs> It comes with a very fine tip which makes it easy for you to draw that wing eyeliner and sometimes if I make a mistake, I simply just use a brush and try to smudge it out with brown eyeshadow and just create a smoky look. To do my brows, I've been using the K palette Essence in Eyebrow One Day Tattoo and my favourite part about this is the brush or the spoolie because this is way better than any eyebrow pencils I've tried out there. This brush is really good for brushing out my hands, my eyebrow hairs but it doesn't hurt and it doesn't pull out my eyebrow hairs. One thing I would say is that the pencil itself is not very long so it probably would not last you for that long. But what's good about this is that it comes with this powder part and you can use this to tint your eyebrow. And to me it's worth it because I'm paying the money for a good brush and a good powder. My last makeup favourite is the VDL Tint Bar Milk Colada and I have mine in the shade 101 Pink Colada. And what I like about this is I like the shade of pink, it's not too girly and this stays for a long time on the lips but this is around $15 I think and the amount that you get doesn't last you for very long and I'm almost running out of it already so I don't know if I would repurchase but I do really like it, it stays well on the lips and it's not drying and it smells really good, I want to say it smells like a floral scent so let's move on to skincare favourites uh, if you know me, you know that I freaking hate makeup wipes. I think they are just horrible at removing makeup and they dry out your skin. So I've always been loving my cellar water. But recently I discovered this makeup wipes from Simple. It's their cleansing micellar wax and it removes makeup and instantly hydrates. And it says no alcohol, no oil, no artificial perfume or colour and it also comes with two vitamins. So initially I thought that this was not possible. How could makeup wipes actually hydrate your skin? But for me, I can use one wipe and it removes everything including my 24 hour eyeliner, including my lip colour and my eyebrows. And after I use this, my skin isn't red which is the first time that has ever happened to me when I use a cleansing wipe. Instead, my skin feels hydrated. So if you hate makeup wipes like me, I would say give this a try because I hated makeup wipes until I tried this. I've always been very into using wash off masks in the shower because I find that they help me relax and just unwind after a long day. And if you know the brand Clarity, you will know that I've been loving their CC laser talks for a really long time now. I would say two years. So recently they sent me these two products and I love them both and I've repurchased multiple times. And this is the Clarity Oxima Cacao Duo Cleanse and Renewal Mask. And this is apparently like a cleanser um, plus a mask. But for me, I find that it works well for me when I use it as a mask. And then I wash it off and go in with my normal cleanser. And this comes with a chocolate scent. And I hate anything chocolate and I hate anything cocoa. But because it's so good that I just look past it. If you like chocolate, I'm sure that you are going to love this and as you can see, it's like a pudding jelly-like texture. So you apply it onto your face and after a while, it will start to uh, create oxygen bubbles. I find that it's just really good for my skin to hydrate my skin and remove dirt, oil, makeup. So I usually leave it on for around 10 minutes while I shower and then I'll wash it off. Before I go to bed, I will go in with this Diamond Glow Overnight Mask and this is like an overnight leave-on mask. And what I like about this is that it gives me instant radiance but I would say still give it a few more hours because when you wake up, you will have skin that's more brightened and other than that, I find that it also firms up my skin and it promises to hydrate your skin but to further hydrate my skin, usually I will go in with this before I go in with the Clarity and this is the Abel Rouge Aqua Miracle Cream You can use this in the day or at night and So what I usually do is I take a thin layer of this, spread it all over my face 
and as you work it into your skin you will feel that your skin is actually wet because this creates water bubbles which is why I feel that it hydrates my skin very well then after that it will absorb into the skin pretty fast and it will leave my skin actually feeling matte I will leave the link in the description box below so you can check it out if you are interested but to me I do really like this cream a lot I find that it not only hydrates but because of how hydrating it is it actually helps to repair my skin overnight so the last item I have is this Vita Brightening System Mask from INS by N and it gives you brightening effect for dark and matte skin and what is unique about this is that it comes with it comes very thick like two felt sheets on the side but what you actually want is the one in the middle and the one in the middle is like a I want to say gel form because when you put it onto your face it will stick onto your face and it will not budge so I like it because I can eat <laughs> while I put this on my face because it will not come out this comes in a box of five and I find that it feels very luxurious and I feel that I'm getting my money's worth because it's sticking to every part of my face so I find that it's hydrating and brightening every part of my face and after using this, I find that I wake up with brightened skin I find it fun because I've never tried a mask with this kind of texture and consistency and I will leave the link in the description down below if you're interested to check it out to me this is just like a mask to treat myself so that's all for my August favorites. Do leave a comment down below letting me know if you've tried any of these products or if there's any favorites of yours that you think I should definitely check out. That concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. And oh yeah, I now have a games channel. I will put the link below if you're interested and check it out. Um, now I make videos about playing Pokemon Go. So yeah, check that out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!